Noticias sin censura. Despierta América. Yo te pregunto, patriota. ¿Se está aprobando una deuda infinita? Pues amigos, el proyecto de ley apoyado por ambos partidos busca aumentar el límite de la deuda sin límites establecidos. Y dime qué opinas de lo que está pasando en esos estados. The bill to raise the debt limit heads to the Senate after passing the House with bipartisan support. On this vote, the yeas are 49, the nays are 48. The Senate is not in order. On this vote, the yeas are 49, the nays are 48. Under the previous order requiring 60 votes for the adoption of this amendment, the amendment is not agreed to. 40 seconds. Let's keep going. Madam President. Senator from Missouri is recognized. Madam President, in the last 20 years in the state of Missouri, oh, I'm sorry, I, I call it my amendment number 93, and I ask that it be reported by number. Start with that. Clerk will report. Senator from Missouri, Mr. Hawley, proposes an amendment number 93. Madam President, in the last 20 years in the state of Missouri, we have lost 60,000 jobs to the People's Republic of China. That number nationwide is almost 4 million. Our trade deficit with China as we stand here tonight is at near record levels. And every dollar of that deficit represents blue collar jobs destroyed industry shuttered, manufacturing capacity withering away. I'd submit to you that it is the most important deficit that we face. And we can talk about budget reforms and we can talk about savings here and there, but until we do the work of bringing back productive capacity to this nation and good paying blue collar jobs you can raise a family on, we will not put our economy on the basis that we need to address the economic challenges that we face. So my amendment does something very simple. It imposes across the board tariffs on China for every year in which we have a trade deficit until that deficit is zero. Bring back jobs to this Senator's country. Senator's time has expired. Senator from Ohio. President, I rise in opposition to the amendment. As my colleagues know, I take a back seat to no one when it comes to standing up to China. Lindsey Graham and I have been fighting to close the trade deficit for decades. I went to junior high at Johnny Appleseed Junior High in Mansfield, Ohio, with the sons and daughters of machinists and IUE members and steel workers and auto workers and carpenters and millwrights and plumbers and pipe fitters and operating engineers. By the time I was 10 years later, most of these jobs were gone and so much of industrial America all over the country has been lost because of bad trade policy with China. But you know, Madam President, the People's Republic of China would love for us to pass this amendment because if it passes, the United States of America will default. They will be rejoicing in Beijing. Stand up to China, vote no on this amendment. Questions on the amendment? Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be, clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin, Mr. Barrasso, 